Hi, this is a little video on um, showing how to apply sequences and series. Okay, let's take a look at um, the question or the problem. Lorraine drops a ball <coughs> from the height of 50 feet. Each time it drops h feet, it rebounds 0 0.8 feet. So basically it's saying when she drops it, then the next bounce is going to be 80% of the 50 feet and then the next bounce after that it'll rise 80% uh, of the uh, you know of the time before that so it's basically uh, the rate of change is 80% is so we're taking a look at three questions a well I gotta let you know I'm going pretty fast because I have to I've got a lot of, to squeeze in in 10 minutes YouTube only gives me 10 minutes so a write the first three terms explain how you know what they are this is uh, more of a sequence kind of related thing uh, B, find the height of the ball after the sixth bounce. Show and explain your work. This is math. You always need to show and explain your work. And again, this is more uh, sequence. And C, how far does the ball travel from the time she drops it until it reaches the peak of the sixth bounce? So this is a series, a thing on series. And basically series is summation of sequences, okay? So here's the picture of what we're looking at. You know, making a picture is a really good thing with word problems, or anytime you have to do math, it helps make it concrete and it makes it easier to conceptualize. But look, so Lorraine's on top of a five-story building, you know, or hanging out the window of a five-story building. She drops the ball. Hey, it's safe. Nobody's below, right? And it, it descends 50 feet, hits the ground, right? Ground zero, and, and then bounces back up. It's going to bounce up 80% of the the distance that she dropped it. And so what's that gonna be? Well, that's the first term and that's gonna be equal to 40 feet because 80% of uh, 50 is 40. And it falls down 40 feet and hits the ground, boom, bounces up 80% of the 40. Well, 80% of 40 is 32, right? So the second term, A sub two, is equal to 32 feet. We'll put the, the units of measurement there. It comes crashing back down again to the ground and hits the ground, boom, bounces back up 80% of that, and the third term is equal to 25.6 feet, right? And so what do we have? We have 50 times uh, 0 0.8 is equal to 40. 40 times 0 0.8, the rate of change, equals 32, and 32 times 0 0.8 equals 25.6 feet. There's our there our first three terms. Okay, and this is the math that shows it. So when you show your work to your teacher, this is how you want to display it. And but it turns out that the first three terms are 40, right? A sub one is 40, a sub two 32, and a sub three is 25. These are the first three terms. Remember that 50 is not the first term. It doesn't count until it bounces up. Okay. That can be kind of confusing. 40, 32, 25.6. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, so this is basically what it looks like. Okay, now let's take a look at um, B. Find the height of the ball after the sixth bounce. Show and explain your work. Okay, this is sequence, and we're going to use the uh, iter iterative rule, right, for the sequence. And basically, we are taking a look at the, um, the sixth bounce, and so that's what n is going to be equal to, right? We, or this uh, n is equal to 6. We know that a sub 1, or the first term, is equal to 40, and we know the rate is equal to 0 0.8, or 80%. So now we have that information, we just plug it in. We're going to find to find the, uh, find the sixth term, and that's 40 times um, 0 0.8. N is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5 to the fifth. And that's all equal to 13.11 feet. So the ball, the height of the ball after the sixth bounce, so here comes, here's, here's the sixth bounce, and it bounces up 13.11 feet after the sixth bounce. Right, six bounce. Okay, now we take a look at six, or C, right? <clears throat> How far does the ball travel from the time it's, she drops it until it reaches a peak on the sixth bounce? 
Well, let's take a look at what we know so far. Right? We know that when she drops it, it drops 50, it, it, the initial drop is 50 feet. Well, basically, for, let, let's explain what we're taking a look at. For number C, what we've got to do is we've got to take a look in, at this blue line, and we've got to figure out what is, how long is this blue line? What is the distance of this blue line? If you were to travel this blue line, what is the distance? And here's this, the, the sixth bounce. And we know what well, we know from here to here is 13.11 feet, right? <clears throat> and we know 50 feet is that first leg. So what we need to do is figure out everything that's going on in between here. So this is where we're going to use series, and a series is basically a summation of of a uh, uh, sequence. And what we know is from this. First bounce to the second bounce, it goes up 40 feet and down 40 feet, and we know that that's 80. And how do we do? We got so it'd be two times 50 times 0 0.8 to the first power, the first bounce. And from here to here, right, it goes up 32 feet and down. And what is that? So it's twice because it goes up and comes down. So it's two times 50 times 0 0.8. To the second to square because it's the second it represents the second part of the series and then so on and so forth right so here it is here times 0 0.8 third and we've got to do that all the way up to five we've got to sum these all the way up to oops um, 0 0.84 and then we've got to do it here too two times 50 to 0 0.8 to the fifth we've got to add all these up well how do we do that well, let's just take a look at it written out in a nice spiffy way. So <clears throat> the first part of the leg is 50 feet. The last part of the leg is 13.11 feet. And this represents everything in the middle. And we can use a handy dandy geometric series formula to give us the summation of everything in between the first bounce and um, the fifth bounce. So let's take a look here. And this is going to be A sub one we know is going to be is equal to 80 basically from here to here so let's see so we have to identify the pieces a sub one is equal to 80 right because that's the distance that's how far it goes from the first bounce when it hits when it, when it hits the, the um, ground the first time it goes up and down at 80 feet right we know that we know that the rate is equal to uh, 0 0.8 and we know that n, right, how many bounces is equal to 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's what we're looking to define. So once you have that, those, that number, those numbers, you just pop, pop it in there. So we say s sub 5 equals 80 times 1 minus um, 0 0.8 to the fifth all over. I know my handwriting is sloppy. I'm sorry about that. Right. And when you crunch that down, <coughs> you will get 268.92. So that represents uh, the blue line uh, from the first bounce to the end of the fifth bounce. But we need the whole blue line. So now we have to add in the 50. We've got to add in the 50 feet. Then we've got to add in the 268.92, and then we've got to add in from the sixth bounce to the peak, which is 13.11 feet. We add all that up, and uh, what do we get? Uh, 300, <laughs> 332.03 feet. So that is. Well, let's take a look at it over here. The ball travels a vertical distance of about 332.02 feet from the time Lorraine drops it to the time it gets uh, to the point where it gets to the peak uh, after the sixth bounce. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.